In example 3, we're going to use a calculator and some calculus to determine all domain points where the horizontal tangents occur for the graph of y equals 0.2x to the fourth minus 0.7x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 4. Just like in the previous example, step 1 is going to be to take the derivative. So then we get that y prime is equal to 0.8x cubed minus 2.1x squared minus 4x plus 5. So that is the graph of the derivative. And then what you do is you set it equal to 0. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and graph this on the calculator. So step 2 is to graph dy dx on the calculator. And for y1, we're going to type in the derivative. So for step 3 then, you're going to push use second calc. And then you do a left bound, a right bound, and then push enter at your guess. And I'm going to show you how to do that on the calculator right now. And so once you have this in the calculator, you go ahead and hit graph. And so from this graph, you can see that we have three zeros. So now what we want to do is find out what those are. So you push second, calculate, and then zero. And you're going to pick a point. So let's find this zero here first. So we need a left bound and a right bound. And then you push enter. And so you see that we get 1.8, I'm sorry, negative 1.86 something, something, something. So that's going to be one of them, and then we need to repeat that to get this zero and this zero. So you push second, calc, zero, and you pick your left endpoint, which is here, and you pick the right bound, which is here, and then you push the zero, and then there you go, you get 0.948. And we do that one more time. So I'll do my left bound over here. I'll do my right bound here, and my guess is about right there, and I get 3.5. And for our zeros, we're going to get x is equal to negative 1.862, x is equal to 0.948, and our last one, x is equal to 3.53. And that's how you use a calculator to find the zeros of a derivative. And so now on your own, I want you to try to take the derivative of this and then find the zeros using a calculator. All right, let's see what we get. So we have dy dx is equal to 1.2x cubed minus 1.5x squared minus 4x. And so what we want to do is plug that in our calculator and use it to find the zeros. So I see that I'm missing one, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now I have all three roots. So I'm going to go ahead and do my second calc, zeros, and I'm going to start with my most left one. And I get 1.304, and I'm going to do it again. So I'll pick the left endpoint, pick the right endpoint, and then I'm making a guess. And I get 0, and I'm going to do it one more time. And I get 2.554. So I get x is equal to negative 1.304, 0, and 2.554.